Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Hazran and I'm from class BA2324B. Before I start my presentation, I would like to give an exclusive gratitude to Dr. Shardato Akma, which is my lecturer, for giving me the chance to learn and be exposed to this task. I learn a lot and she has walked us all through the process of completing this project and for never-ending support and understanding throughout the assignment's duration. So my presentation will be divided into eight parts. First is, I'm going to let you guys know what is the definition of crowdsourcing. Second is the registration in crowdsourcing. Third is the registration in PayPal. Fourth is a summary of my bidding and contest. Five, how much does star rating that, that I earn? Six, how much project that is awarded to me. Seven, is the income earned by me. And lastly, is the SWOT analysis, which stands for strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. So what is actually the definition of crowdsourcing? Crowdsourcing is actually a process of obtaining work, information, or opinions from a large group of people who submit their data through the internet which is known as social media, and also smartphone apps is known also as crowdsourcing. Crowdsourcing participants may work as paid freelancers at times, while others perform minor tasks voluntarily. For example, traffic apps like Waze encourage drivers to report accidents and other roadside incidents in order to provide app users with real-time, up-to-date information. For the second part, which is registration in outsourcing, basically, we only have five applications that we can use for this project, which is first is Freelancer, second is Upwork, third is Guru, fourth is People Per Hour, and the last one is LinkedIn. So, Let's understand how does this app works and how do we differentiate each of the applications. So, for freelancer, if you install freelance app and you want to make a bid for a project or a contest, you only have six bids that is available to use for a month. And for artwork, you'll get 50 credits and each bit will deduct 3 or 6 credits per bit. For people per hour and guru, I did not use and implement this app into my project because I find that this app is not understandable towards my knowledge and towards my standards. Maybe it's because I'm still new in this work field. So, for the third part is registration in PayPal. So, let, let me understand what is actually PayPal is. PayPal is actually an online payment system that allows us to pay for transactions, accept payments when selling items or services, and also we can send money to our friends and family. Why does most of the app most of application in this world implement PayPal as a platform for us that to, to, to pay or to receive money. Because PayPal is considered a safe way to send money and shop online because PayPal uses end-to-end -end encryption to secure transactions. So, in our project, freelancers have to use PayPal as a means of transaction when we bid for project or contest. That means, after we bid for project or contest, we will use PayPal as a platform to pay or to receive money. For my fourth part of my presentation, I will talk about my summary of bids and contests. I have complete, completed around 35 bids of projects and 15 bits of contest towards these two apps which is called Freelancer and Artwork. For my 35 bits of project, 
I have built all this project into these two apps called Freelancer and also Artwork. Meanwhile, for contests, all these 15 contests, I only bid into one application, which is called Freelancer. This is because I find that Freelancer is much more convenient to use and there's so much choice of contests in my job scope, in my work scope that I find. And that's why I choose to beat all of the contests at Freelancer. For the fifth part of my presentation, I will talk about the star rating that I've earned. For the 15 contests that I've beat into Freelancer application, unfortunately, I didn't get any star rating throughout my whole project. This is because personally, I think I didn't work hard enough to produce a top quality of content into my proposal. For the sixth part of my presentation, which is project awarded and income awarded, unfortunately, I didn't gain any project throughout this assignment and also I didn't gain any income throughout this whole assignment. This is primarily because maybe I have to be more focused on what is the requirement needs from my employer and I ensure that I will learn from my mistakes and I will try my best again next time. So the last part of my presentation is I would like to talk about my SWOT analysis. So my first part is my strength. My strength is that I have a good communication skill and that's why I'm able to produce a top quality of work at freelance and I'm able to cope with all the clients at the freelance applications. For my weakness, I have low self-esteem in taking bids and have been because I have lack of rating in my freelance application and also I have lack of expertise in the work field. For the opportunity, I have gained, I have gained to boost self-confidence and I have gained to learn from my mistakes and also I have gained to generate side income if I have completed my bids. For tracks, I have realized that fraud from scammer is a main track in the freelance app and also there is also huge competitors among other bidders from other countries.